Dear students, welcome. This is our fifth class on differential equations. Today, we shall try to solve this problem. Problem number 9 to 14. Now, <clears throat> let us try to solve this problem. Question number 9 is this. Question number 9. Question number 9. <clears throat> The given differential equation is 3x sin hyperbolic y by x plus 5y cos hyperbolic y by x dx. That minus this equal to 0 means you may write 5, this is equal to 5x cos hyperbolic y by x dy. You may write like this. Now, you see y by x, it is a function. Let me remind you, a differential equation is called a homogeneous differential equation. If it can be expressed in the form dy by dx equal to a function of y by x. It is function uh, y by x is there. Therefore, you should write dy by dx. This means dy by dx. Is equal to what will be this dy by dx will be equal to <clears> three <throat> six sine hyperbolic y by x plus pi y cos hyperbolic y by x divided by five x cos hyperbolic y by x. You may write like this. Now, <clears throat> divide the equation by x, but divide the numerator and denominator by x. If you divide numerator and denominator by x, then you will get 3 sin hyperbolic y by x plus 5 y by x cos hyperbolic y by x divided by 5 cos hyperbolic y by x. Notice that it is the right hand side is a function of y by x, which is equal to a function of y by x. It is a function of y by x. Suppose uh, it is number one. I write it as number one. Now put, it is a homogeneous equation. To solve a homogeneous differential equation, you should write y is equal to px. Let y is equal to px. So there, differentiate with respect to x. Differentiate y with respect to x. You will get dy by dx equal to p plus x. dv by dx. dy by dx equal to p plus x dv by dx. Therefore, from 1 you will get, therefore, 1 implies. dy by dx equal to p plus x dv by dx should be equal to 3 times of sin hyperbolic for y by x it is equal to p plus 5 p cos hyperbolic p divided by 5 cos hyperbolic p 5 cos hyperbolic p now this means x dv by dx will be equal to this minus p thrice sine hyperbolic p plus 5 p cos hyperbolic p divided by 5 cos hyperbolic p minus p. You may write like this. This means x dv by dx should be equal to in the denominator you will get 5 cos hyperbolic b and in the numerator you will get 3 sin hyperbolic b plus 5 v cos hyperbolic b minus 5 v cos hyperbolic b. These two terms will be cancelled. 
this two terms will be cancelled. Or you may write three dx by x equal to five cos hyperbolic v by sin hyperbolic v. You may write like this. You may write like this. Now the variables have been separated. Now you may integrate it. Just integrating we get. Since the variables have been separated, just integrating. Integrating we get. We get 3 times of dx by x equal to 5 integral cos hyperbolic v by sin hyperbolic v d plus the constant of integration plus the constant of integration. Suppose C is the constant of integration. When you integrate this, you will, you will get it is log x. When you integrate this, you will get log sine hyperbolic v. Therefore, here you may write an, uh, the constant of integration in terms of v, uh, in terms of log x. You may write minus c minus 3 log c. Where minus 3 log c is the constant of integration. You may write minus 3 log c is the constant of integration. Now, this is the hyperbolic function. Just uh, simply know the definition of sine hyperbolic x cos hyperbolic x. Suppose uh, sine hyperbolic x equal to e to the power x minus e to the power minus x divided by 2. And cos hyperbolic x, the cos hyperbolic x equal to e to the power x plus e to the power minus x divided by 2. If you differentiate sine hyperbolic x, you will get e to the power x, it will be plus e to the power minus x divided by 2, simply cos hyperbolic x. ddx of sine hyperbolic x equal to cos hyperbolic x. Similarly, if you differentiate cos hyperbolic x, then you will get e to the power x minus e to the power minus x divided by 2, sine hyperbolic x. When you differentiate cos x, with respect to x, you get minus sin x. But when you differentiate cos hyperbolic x, if you differentiate this, you will get this. Uh, you will get the sin hyperbolic x. There is no minus sign. ddx of cos hyperbolic x equal to sin hyperbolic x. And ddx of sin hyperbolic x is equal to cos hyperbolic x. And you know that. It is, uh, uh, if you integrate, uh, you are integrating this. See the numerator and the denominator. The denominator is the differentiation of the numerator. Uh, the numerator is the differentiation of the denominator. If you differentiate the denominator, if you get the numerator, then answer is the integration is log of the denominator. Since the differentiation of sine hyperbolic x is equal to cos hyperbolic x, therefore it will be log of sine hyperbolic x. This means 3 times of log x equal to 5 log sin hyperbolic v minus thrice log c. Thrice log c is the constant of integration. <coughs> or <coughs> 3 times of log cx equal to you may write log sin hyperbolic to the power 5 b or log of cx whole cube equal to log of sin hyperbolic to the power y by x you may write this y by x sin hyperbolic to the power 5 in v has been replaced by y by x this means c cube x cube equal to sin hyperbolic to the power of 5 y by x. This is the solution. For c to the power 3, you may write another constant key. This means sin hyperbolic to the power 5 y by x should be equal to k 
K X Q K equal to C Q and another constant. This is the required solution of the differential equation. Therefore, we have solved the number nine. This is the solution of the differential equation. K X Q equal to sine hyperbolic to the power five y by x. Let us try to solve. <coughs> Question number 10. <coughs> now, come to solve the question number 10. What is 10? <coughs> x cos 10. x cos y by x. y dx plus x dy should be equal to y sin y by x x dy minus y dx x dy minus y dx x dy minus y by x now <coughs> first take the terms uh, containing d x in the left let's say x y cos of y by x dx and here it is dx y square plus y square sin y by x it is dx this is well right in the right hand side right x y sin y by x minus x square cos of y by x dy y by x dy or it is y by it is written y by x it is y by x therefore you write dy by dx equal to dy by dx xy cos of y by x plus y square sine y by x divided by xy sine y by x minus x square cos y by x y by x now Divide the numerator and denominator by x square. Divide the numerator and denominator by x square. You will get y by x. If you divide it by x square, xx will be cancelled, it is y by x. Cos of y by x plus y by x whole square. Sin y by x. If you divide it by x square, x x will be cancelled you to you will get y by x sin y by x minus cos of y by x cos of y by x suppose this is number one mark it as number one it is of the form dy by dx is a function of y by x Therefore, it is a homogeneous differential equation. To solve that homogeneous differential equation, just put y is equal to vx. This means dy by dx equal to v plus x dv by dx. v plus x dv by dx. Therefore, from 1 you will get v plus x dv by dx should be equal to for y by x, write v cos b plus b square sin b divided by b sin b minus cos b in the right like this right next x dv by dx should be equal to b cos b plus b square sin b divided by b sin b minus cos b minus b this b has been taken to the right hand side <coughs> now
Now, <coughs> this means x dv by dx should be equal to v sin v minus cos v and v cos v plus v square sin v minus v square sin v plus v cos v now these two terms will be cancelled these two terms will be cancelled this means x dv by dx should be equal to twice v cos v v sin v minus cos v v sin v minus cos v this means v sin v minus cos v divided by v cos v equal to 2 times of dx by x and uh, it is dv dv equal to 2 times of dx by x <coughs> this means this divided by this P B cancel then V minus P one by two then V minus one by two D V equal to two times of D X by X. The variables have been separated. Integrating we get. <coughs> Integrating we get. Integrate this. Integration 10 v minus 1 by v dv. This is equal to 2 times of integration dx by x plus log c. Log c is the constant of integration. This means what is the integration of 10 v? It, it, it is log of set v minus log v. 10 v means set b into 10 b divided by 10 b uh, divided by sec b if you differentiate sec b you will get 10 b into sec b means differentiation of the denominator this is equal to numerator integration is log of the denominator this is equal to 2 times of log x plus log c this means log of sec b by b should be equal to log of cx square log of sec v by v equal to log of c x square c x square or you may write here also this means sec v divided by v should be equal to c x square or sec v equal to c v x into x this means sec of y by x equal to c into x y c into x y sec uh, y by x equal to c into x y this is the answer this is the solution of the differential equation or you may write uh, c into x y cos y by x equal to 1 you may write like this or you may write x y cos y by x equal to k k is equal to 1 by c where k is equal to 1 by c this is the you may write this is the answer this is also the answer this, this is also the answer therefore we have solved the question number 10 we have solved question number 10 now let us come to solve the question number 11 let us <coughs> let us solve question number 11 what is this 11 y square dx plus xy plus x square dy this is equal to zero
This means dy by dx. What is dy by dx? dy by dx y square divided by xy plus x square with a minus sign. Minus y square by you may write like this. Or you may write in this way also minus y by x whole square. It is y by x plus 1 divide numerator and numerator by x square. It is uh, it is of the form y by x dy by dx equal to a function of y by x. One is homogeneous. Suppose this is one. Since one is homogeneous, put y is equal to bx. Put y is equal to bx. This means dy by dx equal to b plus x dv by dx. Therefore, from one you will get b plus x dv by dx should be equal to minus y by this is equal to b square p plus 1 p plus 1 or you may write x dv by dx equal to x dv by dx equal to minus p square by p plus 1 plus b you may write like this Or x dv by dx equal to minus p plus 1, you will get p square plus, it is again p square plus b. You will get this one. <coughs> P plus 1. P plus 1. Like this. Or P plus 1 by twice P square plus P dv plus this is equal to min uh, minus dx by x means plus dx by x equal to 0. Numerate like this. Or P plus 1 divided by B into twice B plus 1 dV plus dx by x equal to 0. You know, right? Like this also. Just express this as a perfect, uh, partial uh, a partial fraction. If you express this as partial fraction, then to get the numerator B plus 1, 1 by b twice b plus 1 you may write twice b plus 1 minus b yes you may write like this dv plus dx by x equal to 0 twice b plus 1 minus b means b plus 1 yes now integrating we get integrating we get Integration of 1 by v minus 1 by twice v plus 1 dv plus dx by x equal to log c. Log c is the constant of integration. Now, <clears throat> this means log of p. What is the integration of this? Differentiate twice p plus 1, you will get 2. But it is 1, therefore you will get minus 1 by 2. 1 by 2. Log of twice p plus 1 plus log x. This is equal to log c. Or log of p minus log root of r 
point b plus 1 equal to log of c by x. This is equal to log c by x. This means log of v divided by root of r twice v plus 1 equal to log of c by x. This is equal to log of c by x. You get this one. This means v by root of r twice v plus 1 equal to equal to c by x. Or c into root of r twice v plus 1 is equal to vx twice v plus 1. This is equal to vx. Or c root of r twice y by x plus 1 equal to vx means y. y equal to vx. Or <coughs> c into root of r twice y plus x equal to root of r x into y x into y or c square x plus twice y this is equal to x into y square x into y square or x y square equal to k x plus twice y this is the solution of the difference in division where k equals to c square k is equal to c square this is the solution of the difference in equation k this is equal to c square xy square equal to k times of x plus twice y. This is the, therefore we have solved the question number 11 also. We have solved question number 11. Now, now let us come to solve the question number 12. This one. Question number 12. <coughs> Perhaps you have noted. Question number 12. X square minus twice y. Twice xy. X square minus twice xy dy. Plus x square minus thrice xy. Plus twice y square. Dx. This is equal to 0. X square minus twice xy dy. Plus x square minus thrice xy plus y square equal to dx equal to 0. This means dy by dx equal to you may write here twice xy minus x square. Can I write like this? This one. dy by dx equal to 1 minus 3 times of y by x plus 2 times of y by x whole square 2 times of y by x minus 1 divide numerator and denominator by x square divide numerator and obviously it is homogeneous since it is homogeneous every homogeneous differential equation can be expressed in the form dy by dx is a function of y by x. It is a function of y by x. Suppose this is number 1. <coughs> 1 is homogeneous. Put y is equal to px. So that dy by dx equal to p plus x dv by dx. p plus x dv by dx. Therefore 1 from 1 will be P plus x dv by dx equal to 1 minus thrice v plus twice v square divided by 
Why is B minus 1? Twice B minus 1. Or X DB by DX equal to 1 minus twice B plus twice B square divided by twice B minus 1 minus B. Or P or X DB by DX. This is equal to twice B minus 1. You will get 1 minus twice b plus twice b square minus twice b square plus b. Now, plus twice b square minus twice b square will be cancelled. Will be cancelled. Or, <coughs> let me write here. Or x dv by dx equal to 1 minus twice b divided by twice b minus 1 divided by twice b minus 1 or you may write x dv by dx this is equal to minus 1 minus 1 or dv equal to minus dx by x integrating we get integrating we get Integration dv equal to minus integration dx by x plus log c. dx by x plus log c. This means p equal to minus log x plus log of c. This means y by x is equal to log of c by x. Or c by x is equal to e to the power y by x. e to the power y by x. Or x e to the power y by x equal to c. This is the solution of the differential equation. x e to the power y by x equal to c. You may write y by x equal to minus log x plus c. That is the solution. Or uh, in this way, you may write x e to the power y by x equal to c. Therefore, we have solved the equation number 12 also. <clears throat> question number 12. Let us come to solve the question number 13. <clears throat> question number 13. Question number 13. dy by dx equal to y by x plus term of y by x. It is of the form dy by dx a function of y by x. It is mostly as differential equation. Therefore, put y equal to bx. This means dy by dx equal to b plus x dv by dx. dy by dx equal to b plus x dv by dx. Therefore, from 1 we will get P plus X dV by DX equal to B plus 10B. P plus 10B. PV will be cancelled from both sides. X dV by DX equal to 10B. X dV by DX equal to 10B. Now, what B? dv equal to dx by x it is 10b means 1 by cot b cot being dv the variables have been separated integrating we get integrating we get <coughs> integration cot b dv equal to integration dx by x plus log of c where log c is the constant of integration. What is the integration of cot b? Log of sin b. The same theory. Cos b, cot b can be written as cos b by sin b. Differentiate sin b. You will get cos b. Numerator, 
this is equal to the differentiation of the denominator with respect to this variable. Then integration is log of sine equal to log x plus log c. This is equal to log of cx. This means sine v equal to cx. This means sine v means you may write y by x. V equal to y by x equal to cx. This is the solution of the differentiation. Sine of y by x equal to cx. This is the solution of the differentiation. <coughs> Now, today's uh, last problem, question number 14. Let us come to solve the question number 14. We have solved question number 13 also. Question number 14 is dy by dx equal to thrice x plus twice y divided by twice x minus thrice y divided by twice x minus thrice y it is a homogeneous differential equation since it is a homogeneous differential equation it can be expressed as a function of y by x it can be expressed as dy by dx equal to a function of y by x 2 minus 3 times of y by x. You may write like this. On its own, yes. Put y is equal to px. Put y is equal to px. So that dy by dx equal to p plus x dv by dx. p plus x dv by dx. Therefore, 1 implies p plus x dv by dx should be equal to 3 plus twice v divided by 2 minus thrice v. 2 minus thrice v. This means x dv by dx equal to 3 plus twice v divided by 2 minus thrice v minus v. This means x dv by dx equal to 2 minus thrice v, 3 plus twice v, minus twice v, plus thrice v square, plus thrice v square. This twice v, twice v will be cancelled. Or x dv by dx equal to 3 times of. 1 plus v square divided by 2 minus thrice v. Or 2 minus thrice v divided by 1 plus v square dv equal to 3 times of dx by x. 3 times of dx by x. Or 2 by 1 plus v square minus 3 times of v by 1 plus v square dv equal to 3 times of dx by x. Variables have been separated. Integrating we get. Integrating we get. Integration 2 by 1 plus v square minus 3 v by 1 plus v square dv equal to 3 times of dx by x plus c. C is double simple integration. <coughs> or 2 times of it is nothing but 10 inverse v. 1 by 1 plus v square means 10 inverse v minus it is 3 by 2 log 1 plus v square 
differentiate one plus v square, you will get twice v. It is v, therefore you should multiply numerator by two and denominator by two. It, it is three by two. Numerator is the this time numerator is twice v, denominator is one by one plus v square. Divide, uh, differentiate the denominator. Get you, you will get the numerator. In the, uh, integration is log of the denominator. This is equal to three log h. Plus c. Or you may write four times inverse v minus three times of log one plus v square. This is equal to six times of log x plus uh, you may write it uh, plus twice c. You may write it twice. C. Four ten inverse v means y by x. This is equal to three times of log. Three times of log. One plus v square. <coughs> One plus v square. Plus two times of log x means log of x square means you will uh, you may write it as x squared plus twice c plus twice c or <coughs> let me write here or 4 ten inverse y by x 4 ten inverse y by x equal to 3 times of log 1 plus y square by x square into x square 3 common 2 times of log x log of x square therefore it is plus twice c twice c means uh, c1 where c1 equal to twice c or you may write 4 10 inverse y by x this is equal to Three times of log x square plus y square plus c one. This is the required solution of the differential equation. This is the required solution. You may write also uh, write uh, c one as three times of log c. If you write it as c one as three times of log k, then you will get. 3 times of log k times of x square plus y square or you may write log of k times of x square plus y square to the power 3 you may express the answer in different uh, way this is the solution of the last question question number 14 there students I want to stop here in the next class, we shall uh, try to solve some more problems and we shall discuss what is linear differential equation, so what is exact differential equation of first order and first degree, then uh, we shall continue. Today, I want to stop here. Stop here. Thanks for attending the class. Thank you very much. Thank you.